Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. I've done an update on the Blue Angels A4F Skyhawk. Now this is part of my Aircraft of the Angels build series. on the Blue Angels A4F Skyhawk. I've been working on it off and on, well actually more off than on. Ordered the paint uh, several weeks ago and was waiting on that to show up. Hopefully you can see that. But uh, Model Masters Blue Angel FS15050 it's the right color but I wanted to order spray paint. This is what I was waiting on for almost two weeks. The delivery date came and went, it never showed up, it never showed up. Finally, this shows up. So it was actually not what I wanted. Uh, it is the correct color, but, um, and I'll use it elsewhere. But what I really wanted was this, which is 1972, Blue Angels FS15050 spray paint. This is uh, Model Masters. Um, so, reordered, finally got it, and as you can see, we've got the blue spray painted on the model. And it turned out looking really nice. So, really pleased with that. Now, I also have uh, used, and this is 1214 Gloss Yellow Amarillo Brilliant. Now, this is a color yellow that I used on my FA-18 Blue Angels model. So I decided that I'm going to go ahead and use it because it's a very close match to the decals. Um, and. and like I said, I've used it before and it's a really close match, so I didn't want to go through the same issue that I had trying to get the blue paint, trying to get the correct yellow paint. I know that this is not the right specification number that they call for on the paint charts for the Blue Angels, but like I said, it's, a, it's an extremely close match. But again, as you can see, I have painted the wingtips and the tail of the aircraft with the yellow and it turned out real nice. So uh, real happy with that. I did go back, and it's a good thing that I have this because I had to go back and kind of clean the lines up just a little bit where I got a little bit of bleed underneath the tape. But uh, kind of hard to get the tape to lay flat over the vortex generators here on the wings. So anyway, I, I was kind of expecting that. Uh, yeah, back to the decals real quick. So um, these are pretty old decals. When I cut this one out right up here at the top, uh, that, that went on the instrument panel inside the cockpit and uh, put it in some water, pulled it off the paper, everything looked good for the first uh, two or three seconds and then it just kind of disintegrated on me. So I have sprayed decal bonder and hopefully that will hold these decals together long enough for me to position them on the model and if not uh, I guess I'll just end up buying uh, a, a decal sheet for Have it. the landing gear doors painted, um, they're, they're ready to go, uh, some of the other issue or smaller parts for the airplane, the refueling probe, the tail hook, um, I have the, uh, the UHF antenna that goes up here on the back, I've got it painted blue, I've got stuff for the landing gear that's painted, um, got my landing gear. Now I know that I told you guys that I was thinking about getting a metal set of landing gear for this uh, this build. What I did is I actually have um, some of those real small miniature um, 
drill bits, and you guys probably do too. Well, I ended up breaking one, um, and, and I got thinking about it, and I'm like, well, dang, that's almost the perfect size to go through right here on the front. So anyway, I, I drilled a hole in the top all the way down into the tire wheel assembly, and I stuck that broken piece of metal drill bit down in there. So I actually have a metal um, reinforcement inside the, uh, the the plastic piece, and so far it's working really well. It doesn't seem to be nearly as, as brittle, fragile, um, it's a lot more sturdy, so I'm going to go with that right now, and I'm going to use the landing gear that came with the kit. Uh, I am going to try to detail it out a little bit more than what it is, but um, I'm going to give it a shot and see how it goes. Chrome pieces, these are the intakes uh, that will go up here next to the cockpit, the, uh, the jet engine intakes. I've got the jet engine exhaust, and, um, and this, this one, this piece turned out really nice. The slats that go on the leading edge of the wing, uh, I had to put those back into a bath of super clean because when I tried to do the chrome, they just didn't look very, very nice. They, they, I wasn't happy with them. Anyway, so put them back in super clean. I'm going to strip all that back off and I'm going to try to start fresh again and see if I can't get a nice, smooth looking chrome finish on them. Uh, as you can tell, uh, I got the flap wheels painted, I got the wheel wheels painted. Now there's other detail painting that I still need to do. Uh, the leading edge of the vertical and horizontal stabilizers have to be painted chrome. Back here by the exhaust, uh, that has to be painted chrome still. And uh, so it's moving along. It's actually starting to look like a Blue Angels jet. And just wanted to give you guys another update and let you know what was happening with uh, with, with the workbench. That's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Take care. God bless. And remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.